what's up guys it's your boy the feist back at it with another video but if it's your first time here definitely be sure to hit it hit, hit that subscribe button leave a like leave a comment let me know what you guys think come join us on discord it's the best community ever also we don't have youtube monetization so if you really appreciate the content and information you get definitely check out the youtube description below we have a patreon link but we also have an etsy store front we have we have coffee mugs and t-shirts more things on the way let's get into this content guys because i definitely want to get into it and discuss it with you guys so this is a guide to really kind of give some information on something i just recently realized in regards to basically you can get all the legendary gear majority of the mods all that stuff in under an hour but there's going to be a little trick that you're going to have to do and before we get into the trick and discuss that i kind of want to show you something so you guys can get an idea about this so if i log into my level 30 character right now and uh proceed to lobby and we're just gonna continue game real quick i want to show you something in regards to uh looking at the pod resources the amount it costs for you to kind of get some of these legendary items and you're going to kind of get an idea of what's going on uh in order to do this trick though you're going to need two people uh but i will voice this right now so if we look at this uh and we talk to tiago real quick let's see how much it costs to get some of these items if we go here and we see uh you know just uh waste cloth of the reforge it is seventy nine thousand pod resources if we look at re-rolling to get a fresh set it is ninety six thousand. now this is significantly expensive guys when you are level 30. so now let's log back out really quick and i actually have a level 29 character i uh i grinded him up yesterday with uh with someone and uh it was up to like i was at level 25 and this guy was just power he was power level me through uh expeditions so if we pop out really quick and i go to feisty feisty it's a play on words uh we'll proceed to the lobby and i'll say continue game let's take a look and see how many points the pod resources it is night and day guys uh it was like ninety six thousand when we saw for like the re-rolling and like seventy nine thousand for an item look at this if i go over here and we just look it is only four hundred and ninety five pod resources so instead of going from 79,000, 80,000, 96,000. It is literally just 400. Now, take a look at what my pod resources is over here. I was grinding from level 25 up to level 29, and then that's when I decided to stop because I want to get all the gear. And this is the this is the technique that I'm explaining. So what I would what you need to do in order to get all this gear, and you could literally do this like in an hour or so. Like I think I got an excessive amount of resources points, more than I really need. Is uh, you just get a friend that basically can solo T15, um, and you should like if you had a character and you grinded them up to get to T15, you could do the same thing for your friend they grind you through the levels it could be a level 25 it could be whatever or you could get two people that can grind you through it, it it'll be easier uh if it's difficult for one person to to grind you through it but by doing that you'll be able to get 40 to 60k pod resources every time and you'll be getting a level every time you complete it uh but yeah so you could get uh <laughs> a lot of pod resources just by doing this so you get you get two or three friends just grind it out, let them do T15, help you out. You'll constantly get 40 to 60 pod resources. And then after that, now you can use this, the, the pod resources you got to actually start getting all these items. Now, hey guys, before I start this video, oh my God, because I just realized while I was doing this, I was like thinking, I'm like, why doesn't this game have a good way to actually show if you already have the mods like you already disassembled the items to have the mods but it actually tells you which ones are not that you don't have available yet so a perfect example is like look at the bottom of my death shield item if you look to the right of it it shows a little square that has four boxes that means i already disassembled an item that gave me that mod 2 striga fortress i know for a fact i don't have unlocked so it doesn't have it perpetual mobile 
I do have Dome of Protection. I don't. So, and it's the same thing for these. Like, I know I have Ultimate Duration, Strong Slice. They have those boxes there to kind of show you. So you can kind of see right off the bat which ones you have available and you don't. You In this video, you're going to see me keep traveling back and forth. I'm so sorry. But just to let you know, you could do this technique to find out. So right off the bat now, if I see like, oh, okay, I want this. And then I could just like easily just do it and call it a day, guys. I needed to voice that piece of information. I was just, I'm even learning things right now while I'm doing videos to kind of give insight on things. But yeah, I hope you appreciate that. <laughs> now, the thing that I want to voice to you is what I'm doing. And, uh, and I literally just started doing it today. And I was like, you know what, before I actually go through the process of actually completing all this stuff, I wanted to show you how much money I had or, on resources and what I kind of go through. So the technique would be, I would go here, I would see, okay, I have, there's pants, uh, the edge of time. Let me see if I have that available. So if I go, I'll go into my, um, outfit, I'll look at my pants. I'm actually wearing the pants the edge of time and uh and i would buy it and then if i didn't have it and then equip it what i would still want to do is i would still want to uh break the item apart so i can get the mod the tier three is the really important one so not only did i buy one to wear i also bought one to break apart so then when i go into the mods i'm so sorry my throat's been bothering me please forgive me guys um <clears throat> But now if I go over here to the mods and I check this, we'll go like, hey, I just want to mod anything. It doesn't matter. And then I'll go to the resources and I'm like, oh, I already got it. So I'll get it, break it, have it available, so on and so forth. And I'm doing the same thing for all these as I go along, guys. Literally, this character is like only a day old or something like that. It, it like it really I haven't really messed with it too much. Um it was just kind of like, oh, let me just grind it, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, I I just started doing those expe uh, uh, expeditions with someone. And uh, I started to basically just use all my resources. I've only used like, I don't know, maybe 15K resources so far out of the 300 k that 350k that i have and i have a decent amount and i'm going to start going through them so like another perfect example is like you know just to go through the video so you can get an idea is uh i like to also i'm going to collect all the legendary armors for this character so before i even hit 30 i'm going to have all the armor and then after that I can power level them because right now, like if you kind of see over here, the highest level, I, the only caveat to this is that I'll have to power level them to, to get to 50. It's not going to be that expensive compared to getting it, but at least I won't have to randomly keep re-rolling to get it. Um, so I would have 40 here, 40 here, 40 here, and then I would just have to get them to 50. The only time it will be expensive is when, uh, you know, when you're, you know, finishing it off. But by the amount of resources I already kind of have, I will be at a high level to the point that I actually could probably start doing T15 and helping people out and being perfectly fine. Um, but it's really awesome to be able to have all the legendary gear, all the three to four sets that the character has and uh, kind of going from there. Now, here's another cool technique about this, guys, which is really important. Hypothetically speaking, my Pyromancer is does not have all the tier threes yet so if i wanted to help my other characters that are already level 30 but it's so expensive to to get specific items that i don't have just to break apart to get the mods i can literally take it from this character put it into the storage because it only costs 495 resources level doesn't even matter let your pyromancer break it apart so he gets the mod so like if i wanted to like hypothetically speaking uh, uh my pyromancer currently doesn't have the mod fortress and i wanted to give my pyromancer fortress it when i re-roll for another shotgun and i could keep re-rolling to get a uh, specific items for a pyro pyromancer before i level this dude up and just give him all the mods as well and then before you know it now my pyromancer is completely set on doing a bunch of stuff and we can kind of go from there so on and so forth uh another cool and important technique that i definitely do want to voice to you guys is 
if you already have a level 50 character uh the really nice thing you can do to kind of get your character in a really good position to kind of power level him especially when it comes to the titanium is you know you do a few grind levels with uh your level 50 character and it's there's gonna it's gonna come to a point where the titanium isn't really gonna matter anymore for your character you can just whatever you get you could just throw into the storage and let him break it apart because when uh when your low level characters break level 50 items apart they get like a hundred to whatever titanium um with the things like so it's really nice to kind of get level 50 items break them and uh break them with your low tier characters so then they can power level uh with their epic gear that is very difficult to level when you're leveling for the very first time so that's a little tidbit that you can kind of do to grind really fast with your character to stay overpowered because uh what i did like this iteration with this character was i had a lot of blues because i didn't think like oh yeah let me grind with my pyromancer get a bunch of level 50 items send it to him and then build the titanium gear it was like after like doing uh doing it for a few hours i'm like wait can i just do this and then i did it so that's a really cool technique to help your level 50 character help your uh your character that's leveling is doing that but get someone to help you build uh to go through t t15 when you're like level 25 even even if you were low level it was perfectly fine because like you'll get more and more and more pod resources so it's going to come to the point where uh if i wanted to also use this character right now to uh help a technomancer that i just want to build right now i could literally get all the gear that i even the modifications like the tier 3 modifications that are very difficult to get i could give it to my character when they're like level 5 or or as soon as you know you you get the character you know you get the um the scientist um what's his name oh my god i forget his name uh to get dr zahidi's uh you know benefit or whatever you can find someone to just take you to the story to do that so there's a lot of cool techniques you can do especially with this level 29 character that has a lot of pot resources just because tiego is so dirt cheap from level 29 to level 30 it's such a drastic jump but it's so beneficial when you have like uh i call them twinks because i played world of warcraft so like when you have a twink character like this where you can kind of use all these resources and then once you use all these resources then it's like all right i'm a level 30 him so that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna kind of focus on uh building some of these things so like let's see shadow comet i already have resistance breaker i already have i think i have trespassers talons so i'll basically just take a look see for hands yeah i'm currently using them so I would probably now just do a quick reroll. So let's do a reroll and see where we go from there. But I just kind of want to give a little more content so you guys can see what's going on. If you guys are definitely appreciating it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Yo, let me know what you guys think, so on and so forth. I'm confident I have fighter's mask. I don't think I have this cowl. Let me confirm. I do not have this uh this cowl so this would be the set for let's take a look i'm gonna take a look so i'm gonna actually buy that right now that is only 495 uh resource points so if you look at my 323,000, that doesn't affect me at all there we go and we just got that now i think i did already legendary minefield this i don't think i did i don't think i have ultimate bone sharp no we're gonna actually look at that for the weapon so we just got that headpiece um do i have upper chrono suit let's take a look so we just got this cowl this cowl is specifically for um hunt the prey does not consume when you're using the veterinary knife teleporting to that type of enemy so we have ugaki for that we have ugaki for the chest we have ugaki for the waistline so we do have a three piece now 
and then we have the fourth piece for Ugagi. So we're missing one of them. Uh, so now the chrono suit for the chest. Do we have that? It doesn't look like we have the chrono suit. So we're going to also get that right now as well. And like I said, I always purchase two of them because I'm also going to break the other one apart. Uh, just hypothetically speaking, like if I wanted to, like you see how they do a tier three and a tier one. What if hypothetically I wanted to do a tier three and a tier three in here? Just for like some type of build that I'm not familiar with just yet in regards to it. I like having that utility available. So that's like super important. So I'm going to actually get this chrono suit. And land blubber. Let me see. It. No, we did buy that. We bought that other item. So now we have upper chrono suit, which we could see right here. Trespassers, Ugake, chrono suit. So we have four sets so far which we're building up which is absolutely amazing so now if and i'm sorry if you hear the dogs in the background that's my girlfriend's dogs i'm taking care of them um now if we go over here and take a look this is what we we did uh tier three ultimate bone sharp now i could keep this weapon and uh you know it's perfectly fine and kind of go from there but i want to see if i need to break this item apart i could always re-roll for it again this looks like it's actually a really decent shotgun i don't like the clip size though um but we're gonna try to we're gonna break it apart so we can actually get the item so just to kind of show proof for you guys on this what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk to zahidi we're gonna go over here we're gonna look to, to say hey let's mod this and we're gonna look to see if we have ultimate bone sharp null in the tier 3 section so if we're gonna go here no 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 ravenous no we have shadow comet cool moaning winds killing spree scrap grenade weakness uh, anomaly legendary minefield ultimate freezing no it doesn't look like we have it so what are we going to do we're going to break this apart so let's break this item now so we can get the modification for it so we're going to break it okay we also got some titanium which is kind of cool uh that's going to help with the leveling and stuff like that because it's level 40 it's not going to be as great as level 50 like i said when it go when it becomes a level 50 item the the amount of titanium you get is really crazy uh and i'll do a separate video on discussing like titanium how to get those resources this is really to show you how you can get legendary items armor weapons mods all within like an hour flat like you could do this so quickly guys it's crazy so now if we go here to tier three we're gonna see if we can find the ultimate bone sharp note which there it is so that is shows a perfect example so now that we kind of use the store over here and we have everything that we need what are we going to do we're going to refresh the store and look at that we're still at 321,000. this was like nothing for it so then we kind of go here did we have the briefs for this dude ugaki utaro's waistcloth i think we did we did did we have the gloves because i just noticed the gloves yeah, I don't think we have the gloves here. So that's going to be another nice piece for us to have right there. And that's pretty much it, guys. I don't want to take any more of the the video. I just kind of wanted to show you guys an idea of how, like, you get all these legendary items. You you have them. You'll have all the four sets. You'll, uh, you'll break them apart as well to get the mods. And then uh, you'll also do that with the same with the weapons. And then you can also do that for all your other characters, even your characters that are already level 50 because the deal for this is just literally ridiculous. It's absolutely free. So uh, I hope you guys appreciate this content. Let me know if you guys would love to see some more Outriders content. I definitely will do that for you guys. If you do it, we play a bunch of other games. So I do videos left and right, but I've been streaming a lot lately come check out the stream and i will catch you guys next time peace take care guys i'm sorry the video was long but i actually just wanted to talk to you guys and show you what i meant so you guys can get a cool idea i'll catch y'all later peace <laughs>
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, if this is your first time here and you're watching from YouTube, definitely be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you ever come to Twitch, definitely be sure to hit that follow button. Come join us on Discord. The link is below in the YouTube description. Also, last but not least, I want to say major, major, major shout outs to the sponsors. If you guys also wanted to financially support the stream, definitely be sure to check out that YouTube description below. There is a Patreon link. And if you can't support financially, don't worry, guys. There's other ways you can actually show support. That's getting the word out, sharing the content, letting friends and loved ones know about this uh this channel tell them to come and hang out come join us on discord you will not regret it it's the best community slash family ever it says it right there on the freaking board yo thank you guys so much for hanging out i love you guys so much and i will catch you guys next time let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next what you think about the video and so on i'll catch you guys next time see ya